Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today we're reviewing the Aerial Rider X-Class, a full suspension, powerful electric moped. Let's check it out. Now the bike I'm testing here is the new 52 volt version of the X-Class, which adds some improvements over the previous 48 volt version of the bike. On this one, you'll find an upgraded 1000 watt motor in the rear wheel, which actually peaks at 2000 watts of power. Now this is only an 80 pound or 36 kilo bike, which is heavy for an e-bike, but is actually pretty light for an electric moped. So 2000 watts of power really makes this thing fly. Feeding that hungry motor is a 52 volt and 18 amp hour battery with just shy of 1000 watt hours of capacity. Now listen, Aerial Rider says the max range is 75 miles or 120 kilometers, and I don't doubt that that's true in the lowest power level with pedal assist, but come on, who's gonna ride like that? I can get the bike up to about 36 miles per hour or 58 kilometers per hour in unlocked mode, and the range obviously drops when you're flying fast. If you leave the bike in the 20 mile per hour class 2 mode it comes in out of the box, then you'll likely get around 35 miles of range from that big battery. If you lay on the throttle all the time in unlocked mode, your range will drop further. But that's the case with any e-bike, high power or not. It's just the nature of electric bicycles. The faster you go, the lower your range drops. So we've got a ton of power and speed here, plus pretty good range from a big battery. But what really makes this a sweet e-bike is the suspension and the accessory loadout. We've got high quality adjustable suspension in both the front and the rear. At first, the rear suspension felt oddly stiff to me, but I was able to dial it in with the preload and rebound adjustments to make it match my weight and riding style, and now it's pretty much bang on perfect for me. Also, sorry for giving you the money shot here, just keep your eyes on the suspension. This is a family channel. When you're riding fast on an e-bike like this, rear suspension is a godsend for bumps. Rigid bikes tend to launch you out of the saddle when you hit bumps at high speed, but rear suspension keeps your butt where it belongs, which is on this nice comfy saddle. It's only a single rider saddle, which leaves room in back for accessories. I added the rear rack accessory that then gives you the option to add a giant basket on top of it, which definitely adds to the bike's utility. But if you want to go a different direction, then you can swap on a two-person saddle instead for bringing a second rider. There are even upgraded foot pegs that are seriously beefy and will make your passenger feel a lot more comfortable about hopping on and back. Aerial Rider also let me know that they were taking my feedback from my review last summer on the D-Class and upgrading the old, sort of wimpy foot pegs into these new, beefier models. Now the X-Class has a bit of a different ride posture than a lot of electric mopeds. Other mopeds are generally more upright, almost cruiser-ish. If you remember the uh, Aerial Rider D-Class that we reviewed previously, it's got a much more upright riding position. You know, the bars are up higher. You just had more of that sort of cruiser feel. But in the X-Class, the bars are down really low. They're almost in line with the seat, which gives it more of that uh, almost cafe racer posture to it. Now generally, I've preferred a more upright riding position, but I have to say it's been really fun riding the X-Class here, and it feels sportier. You know, you've got almost more fine-tuned control. It feels a little more nimble because you're leaning over the bars here. When you go into the turns, it just adds a more of, a, of a, an adrenaline rush kind of feel to it, which is a lot of fun, I gotta say. Now when we talk about the posture though, we have to talk about the rideability. Electric mopeds are not known for being great pedal bikes and the X-Class is really no exception. Can you pedal it? Absolutely. Is this comfortable? Absolutely not. This is not a great e-bike for pedaling. I feel like my knees are up in my armpits when I pedal. And that kind of goes with, uh, with most electric mopeds, you know? They're not designed to be very pedalable. They're designed to be basically little mini motorcycles for zooming around. And for that, it works great. So if this is really more of a mini motorcycle or a true moped, then it better have the components to match. And for the most part, it does. The hydraulic disc brakes are powerful and they bite hard. The build quality is awesome and it does not feel like some cheap imitation bike. And the touch points are all quite comfortable, from the seat to the handlebars and even the full metal pedals. The one area I'm gonna take Aerial Rider to task on here is the headlight. 
It looks badass, but it just isn't that bright, so it's mostly just a B-scene light. That's fine, I guess. I mean, it's as good as any other LED headlight on most electric bikes, but I just expected it to be brighter. I've seen mods online where guys swap out the headlight bulb, though, so there's hope if you really want to turn it into a motorcycle-level ride. Other than that one small complaint, I mean, the bike is its just pure awesome. It's way faster than most people need. It's fun as hell, and it is quite reasonably priced at 2099 bucks. Or if you want to take a slight spec downgrade, you can get the 48 volt version of the X-Class for a crazy 1599 bucks. Both are more than fairly priced in my opinion. Ultimately, I think Aerial Rider has done a great job here at creating a fun and high performance e-bike that offers great utility with its passenger and cargo capacity. Hats off, guys. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Aerial Rider X-Class. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.